Ladies and gents, welcome back to episode 6 of our Roma Save. It is January 3rd and the transfer window has just opened up. This will be hopefully a quick video with no gameplay in it. I just want to update you on where we sit, how we've been doing, some thoughts on the transfer window, and all of that jazz. First off, I wanted to say sorry I missed last week. I know I don't have any real regular viewers, but even still, last week was a busy one for me. With work and family from in out of town, I really didn't have a chance to do any FM in that time span. That is why I played Battlegrounds and posted the gameplay for you instead. At least that's something I can pre-record and get you out, you know, at least have something on the channel. But now we are back to the normal Tuesday FM vids and hopefully we'll continue with that for the foreseeable future. Anyway, so on to this episode. While playing, we had our next round of the Champions League draw and whom do we face? Drum roll please. Leverkusen! Not too bad considering the rest of the teams through to the next round, and hopefully we should get a good set of games, but ones that will definitely get us into the next round. And funny enough, Barcelona face none other than Juventus. Like the realism here, but can they get through this time? That is the question. Anyway, so how did we do in the league up till now? Well, I am glad you asked. We played tag with Juventus for a while until finally we jumped them and have held on to the top of the table for just about a week or two now. Let's just hope we can keep it up. Unfortunately, right after our 1-0 win, let's go to the schedule. Here's our 1-0 win against Genoa. You can see we had our first loss of the season to Porto in the Champions League match before the next round. I tried to give Tuminello yet another shot up front, but he is just having some issues keeping up form. So he may be one I tried to replace in the summer, even though his stats are increasing. Another only time will tell prospect. So let's see, Tuminello, you can see, I mean, the last couple of, the last three games he's played, the last four or five, I mean, okay, seven, ten, right there. But 6-6, six, 6-5, six, six, five, six, five, six, he's just not pulling it. I mean, his stats are going up, so he, you know, maybe we'll keep him around. I don't know. It kind of, we may just send him on low next season. He's not helping the team much. How's that? So our Champions League table looks like this. Let's go to competitions. We're uh, European Champions Cup overview stages. Roma in first, 4-1-1 one, one with 13 points. Uh, Porto comes in second, 2-3-1 with 9 points. And then Leicester and Kiev both drop out. I don't know if they're going to the Europa. I have not checked, but 1-3-2 with 6 points and 1-1-4 one, one, with 4 points. Actually, Europa's not in there, is it? Europa FC, uh, that is not what I want. So, Champions Cup, Euro Cup, there we go. Uh, so, do we have, are either of them in here? Leicester and Kiev, Dynamo, that's not Kiev, no, GNK. Leicester is here against Sporting, so we'll see if they can actually do any better than they have in this time, in this round. So, let's go back to our schedule. So, we did drop that first loss of the season last game out nothing really we were already in so it doesn't really matter next up we have a 2-0 win against Cagliari Jekko gets his goal in the 14th but Gerson in the 90th minute plus 2 absolutely fantastic goal let's show it to you now so Jekko gets it boots it up boots it back to Gerson who just fires away from so far out. I mean, that was such a terrific goal. That was excellent. So that gives us a 2-0 win against Cagliari. Then a 1-1 draw against Napoli, which showed Grenier onto the score sheet, but losing out on two points in the 90th minute to a last-minute goal by Pavaletti. And finally, rounding out our low-key December, we have yet another 2-0 win against Inter Milan, with goals from Salah and Dzeko. Not Nothing great to show you, but just happy to beat Inter. Uh, who we were for the first beginning for the first part of the season we were just playing tag with that first position in the table so transfers let's get into transfers well man city have been have actually come in for sala uh who I'm, i have no desire to sell right now he is actually bossing it this season and i really hope to keep him around for a while longer he did get third in the premier into the uh he did get achievements let's see third player of the year Third place in Player of the Year. Uh, Mane got second, and Nabi Keita, who is one that I would love to get uh, in first. So 
he is definitely doing very well. Oh, let's go back to Salah over you. Uh, I mean, you can see average rating of 7.41 in the league, 13 goals, 6 assists. Absolutely bossing it here. So I really don't want to lose him. If I do, Man City's 18 million offer was definitely nowhere near good enough. So, And with that... Where is Manolas? Barcelona have also come in for Manolas. But another 18, actually 19 million pounds was not going to cut it. I tried to get a bit more out of them. Uh, they rejected it, but we'll see if they come back with anything else. I really don't want to lose Manolas for too little. I know he goes off to Chelsea and friends in normal saves, but we will see. I definitely don't want to. I mean, he's, he's going to have to go for big money if he's going to go. Beyond that, Florenzi's agent accosted me with a new contract request, so I gave in finally. 97000 per week, quite a bit high, especially with Abdullahi making his first team debut and actually doing fairly well. So in the end, I might just, you know, it just might be fodder I use to get rid of him, get more money out of him uh, in a sale, but only time will tell. I mean, he is, I mean, look at him, 755 in the Champions Cup, 723 in Serie A. I have no desire to sell him right now, but if, you know, people are going to come in and if he starts complaining, then you know I at least have a little bit more leverage to to sell him for big money. So, oh well. But don't forget, he does have a 43 million pound release clause. I threw that in there, so it, that should be enough to buy a new right back if need be. Especially with some of the people I have on the list. And we also extended De Rossi's contract. De Rossi, De Rossi, where the fuck are you, De Rossi? We also extended De Rossi's contract. I know he's 33, but we just want to keep him here for a little while longer. Maybe we'll sell him in the summer for a good young DM or so, but this also gives us a little fodder, fodder uh, to sell him for a little higher. Uh, he, he did have only six months in his contract previously. Now it expires in 2018. We have a little more time to keep him, get some good gameplay out of him. I mean, 7.05 during Serie A, so not too shabby. But now, here's my problem with transfer seasons. There are so many players I want to bring in, yet no money to do it, especially in this round. I mean, you'll see 4.48 million we have to play with. Uh, or even if I do have money, I have such a problem trying to figure out who exactly I should bring in. Anxiety always on whether I should bring in person A or B. And I just need to suck it up, bite the bullet, and get it done. So we'll see if I actually do it this season. But with that, the players I am looking at. Jordi Gaspar from Lyon. Uh, he's a he's a great fullback. He's a young fullback. He's got he looks like he's got potential. Determination of seventeen is terrific. I mean, he's very young. Uh, so stamina and strength only thirteen. Positioning teamwork eleven. Concentration thirteen. Not too bad. Uh, but he's he's definitely one that I can you know use on the bench and kind of bring in as requires. Especially if people like Florenzi end up leaving or something along like along those lines. Johnny. Uh, center back, right back, left back. Te- definitely uh, the type of player that I love because I love having someone either on the bench or in the squad that can play all three back positions. Bravery 16 to 18 is terrific. Determination of 8 absolutely sucks. So that's something we'd have to work on. Uh, but concentration 14 to 17. Stamina 14 to 16, not too bad. Acceleration 15. Teamwork is great 14 to 16. So this is a guy that I definitely would like to bring in. I mean, he's only 22. If he's not going to start immediately, bring him on as the bench player. And he's Spanish, so he counts as that European Union. I would love to bring in someone like Mauricio Lemos, who I know is a fantastic defender, but I, he's really, he's Brazilian, right? Lemos. I really should. Yeah, there he is. He is Uruguayan. So I can't bring him in. I mean, I can bring him in, but he's not going to be able to play because I've already got two non-EU uh, spots filled, so... Max Christensen from Ingolstadt. My scouts have said he looks like a great up-and-comer. He is 20 years old. There are probably better people out there, but strength 14 to 17. Teamwork 14 to 18 is terrific. They, I do have my scouts scouting him a lot better. Uh, obviously, you know, there's still a lot open that we need to figure out. Nabi Keita. Kate Keita? Kate Keita? I don't know, whatever. Uh, obviously, he just won... I, I, he won like young player of the, the season or something or the year uh, he's a fantastic midfielder you can see determination position or not position but off the ball stamina natural fitness agility I mean aggression 18 okay but absolutely fantastic player but again Guinea so he's not going to be counting for that EU spot but I would love to bring in this guy in I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon Martin Odegaard 
a player that I've been dying to bring in since uh, you know he kind of came through the ranks and sadly joined Real Madrid for no apparent reason except money. But determination sixteen, flair sixteen, agility sixteen to nineteen. Uh, I, he's uh, obviously he's going to be insane in this game. He is always insane in this game. But money, who knows? And he's on loan at Heronveen. Sorry, I cannot pronounce those names. So he's not going to be coming in this time around, but maybe in the summer we can look at him and, and bring him in. Next up is Benny, midfielder from Belenenses. I have no idea. Portugal. Uh, another guy who looks, you know, he, he's only able to play midfield so far, but scouts have been telling me that he looks very good so far. I do have them scouting a bit more. Uh, work rate 11 to 14. I mean, the things need to be picked up, but he's only 19. So uh, hopefully, you know, he'll be cheap. Maybe I can bring him in and he'll do some wonders for our bench. Next up, we have Edemilson Fernandez from West Ham United, another Portuguese that I, I am looking for midfield, uh, attacking mids, and defensive mids. I'm also looking for center backs and a striker, so pretty much everything but the wingers. But guy looks, you know, he's, he's what, 20 years old. Uh, he looks like he's going to be fairly good. Uh, he's kind of on the high end of average right now. First touch is 14, passing is 14, technique 15. So agility 11 to 15, so we'll see. But another good youngster, uh, up and coming, you know, possibly bench player when need be, because uh, we are running out of, you know, midfielders and uh, attacking mids uh, as well. So we need to really bring some people in and, and get them some game time. So Ryan Sessegnon, I mean, everyone brings this guy in. And he always, he, when I tried to bring him in Liverpool the first season, he did not want to come in second season is when he actually came in but natural fitness 17 stamina 17 you know determinate uh, decisions seven determination 11 okay you know those have to come up but he is we all know how fantastic he turns out to be he's definitely i mean he's 16 years old and 14 to 18 crossing holy crap acceleration agility and balance 15 15 13 the guys got potential through the effing roof and finally kieran tierney look at that 19 years old. He's left back. 15 to 18 bravery. Damn. 19 determination. That's what I love seeing. 16 acceleration. Natural fitness 13 to 16. Another guy who can just come off the bench and just hopefully boss it in the, in the years to come. He is from Scotland. So uh, another EU player. So I, I, I mean, all these players we really want to bring in, but obviously with no money. Uh, money is so tight. Who knows what I'll be able to bring? You know, if I'll be able to bring in anyone at all, this might be such a quiet, sad off season that we have. Uh, but and who knows? Maybe someone will come in for Jekko. Maybe someone will come in for Sala, and we'll get some big money up front where we can buy at least a couple players. So, anyway, in the next episode, I will actually get into our next game against Empoli, along with some transfer business. I hopefully, you know, want to get into depending on the money. So with that, I will call it a day. And as always, thank you for sticking around. Take care and enjoy. Roma, Roma, Roma. Core de sta città. Unico grande amore de tanta e tanta gente.